Africa is making headline after headline this week in Washington with yet another one. Africa 54's Laura Bowman joins us now. Laura. That's right, Vincent. Corporate giant General Electric has announced plans to invest $2 billion in Africa by 2018. The U.S.-based company says the spending is aimed at improving facilities and supply chains, as well as training workers. CEO Jeffrey Immelt says his company is happy to be on African soil, despite some difficulties to surmount. There's still challenges ahead, and challenges are also opportunities. There's a 100 gigawatt deficit of electricity in Africa as we sit here today, yet the region is surrounded by resources. It's got natural gas, it's got wind, it's got the sun. And so there's ways to, to fulfill these challenges of, of health care and of power, uh, but you have to be creative. You have to be on the ground in order to solve these. ML spoke at an event tied to the U.S.-Africa Leader Summit. Ghana's President John Dramani Mahama was there as well to discuss his country's investments in power. The U.S. says it will also invest in Ghana's electricity network to the tune of $498 million. Across town, another Washington event focused on powering Africa. The Corporate Council on Africa hosted a Power Africa Power Lunch. Leading CEOs from across the continent were there. We asked the CEO of a top hospital group in Ghana what power means for healthcare. It means everything. Without power, how, how do you operate on somebody? How do you put the person who needs intensive care management? What do you do when there's no power and there's darkness all over? So power is a lot and all the equipment depend on power. The U.S. government officials behind the Power Africa initiative were also there to discuss their progress so far.